Hey digital makers, Christina here from the Raspberry Pi Foundation team. This week's theme is make some noise. So we are going to be doing some coding in Sonic Pi this week where we're going to be playing with sound effects. So let's jump into the project. All right, so I'm here at our projects page. As always, I encourage you to check out our projects, projects.raspberrypi.org. There are all levels of projects, all types of projects. We're going to be doing the special effects projects in honor of Make Some Noise uh, this week. So you can go to this project by going to rpf.io slash dm hyphen noise. And that is going to take us to our project. So our special effects project, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating some special effects sounds that can be used in a film or a computer game. So the first thing you need to make sure is you have Sonic Pi installed. So when you go to this project, it's going to give you directions for how to install Sonic Pi. And this is what we're going to be making. Some suspenseful sound, a stormy night sound, and a haunted bells sound. So really great. Oh, I clicked it again. <laughs> really great sounds for a video game, um, or maybe you could be used it, using it in a film. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and jump in. So you'll see here, what I'll be doing is I'll be following uh, the project steps here on the left. All of our projects are organized in a similar way with kind of a table of contents. So I'm going to go through each of these steps, going starting with suspense and then stormy night and then haunted bells. So to do this, uh, we're going to be needing Sonic Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and switch us to using Sonic Pi. And so here we are. Um, if you are new to Sonic Pi, I recommend you check out my intro Sonic Pi video and you can find that at rpf.io slash dm hyphen Sonic Pi. This was a video I did a couple weeks back for our Make Music Week and it talks you through how to use this interface and how to use Sonic Pi. I'll definitely give you a short introduction, but today we're just going to be focusing on those sound effects that I had talked about. So let me get set up here so we can see all the things. All right, so we're gonna start with the suspense sound effect. What I have here is I'm using the Sonic Pi interface. I'm gonna adjust a little bit and feel free to adjust yours so it's easier to see. Up here in the top right, you can change the size. So as you see here, it says, welcome to Sonic Pi. Um, and I'm just gonna make that bigger so it's easy for all of us to see together. Oh, that's great. All right, so let's start uh, with um, making a sound. We're going to make the suspense sound. So to do that, we are going to go ahead and I'll call it suspense. So we have it. And we are going to add in a sample. So there is sample sounds you can use. So the code you're going to use is typing in sample and space and then a colon. We're going to use this sample and you'll see it automatically pulls it up, which is really great. I like that a lot about um, Sonic Pi. If you have any questions about Sonic Pi, there's a really great help um, resource that you can access up here in the top right. If you click help, this will show you tons like a tutorial about how to use the interface. What does each thing mean? Um, examples, the different sounds, the synths here, this menu gives you all the different sounds. And then we're going to be pulling mainly from samples here for our special effects project. So we've got the sample, sample here. And let's go ahead and play that so we can hear what it sounds like. All right. It's definitely a little suspenseful. <laughs> and so next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to adjust the rate. So this adjusts the speed. This code is used to adjust the speed. So a regular, like normal speed is a rate of one. And if I want to adjust it, so this will be what we just heard. Like if I just keep this rate here. Now, if I do 0 0.5, it would be half of that. So let's see what that sounds like. Okay. And you could also speed it up. So if I double what the normal rate was. Okay. So feel free, explore and play with that. I'm going to be going through the project, but at any point, feel free to pause the video and just play with these numbers and the code. Make it your own. So uh, with the project, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use a rate of 0 0.3 and to see what that sounds like. And 
then I'm gonna switch it to three actually, so it's gonna be a little bit shorter. Okay, and then I'm going to use a, oh, I'm gonna add a loop, okay. So to do that, I'm gonna put this code in that you see here in line four. So this is gonna add in the loop. And so what this is saying here is this is saying, this is gonna repeat four times. Oh, yeah, one thing I have to do is you'll see here, it's expecting an end. So I actually need to put in, since it's a loop for the syntax of this code, I need to add in some more code. So what I can do, I'm gonna add in sleep. And then I need to add an end, and that's going to complete this. All right, now let's run it. Okay, that's definitely sounding suspenseful. And what you'll see here is that I added in the sleep, so that tells us the amount of time that the pause is in between those beats, and then it repeats four times, okay? So what I could do is I can make it shorter, or I can make it longer. So if I did, let's say, um, three, then it would wait three beats between each. So one, two, three. That was short, like one, two, three. Yeah. So you get the idea, right? So I um, want to keep it shorter because that has a more suspenseful sound. So there we go again. All right. Awesome. Now again, play, like feel free to pause this video, play with the numbers, especially what you're seeing like highlighted here in blue, you could change that to five, six, seven, eight times. You can change the rate here of the actual sound. And then you can also change this code here, um, the sleep, so, and determine how many beats or seconds are happening in between each like um, of the sample. So what's neat now is what you can do is you can actually save this file. So if you go to file, actually just kidding, go to Sonic. So if you're on a Mac, um, you can go to file and then go to save. And then you can actually save this as a music file, which you can use later on um, if you're making like a game or making a computer game. All right, so looking at the project, the next thing we're gonna do is make a stormy night sound. So let's go ahead and we'll go to a new space and we'll call this one stormy night. So what I'm doing here is this, um, using the pound sign just comments out the code. So it just helps me to make a comment and that code isn't being um, processed by the, isn't being read by the computer. So next we're gonna do is, we're gonna add in the sample, the Andy smoosh. And remember, if you can go to help and you can check out all the samples here, if you just wanna look at like what exists, I'm just following along on the project to create this specific Piece. So, all right, so go to sample, I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna do the swoosh sound. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, what did I mess up on? What did I type in wrong? Let's see, who can see? Oh, okay, I see it. So I put the colon in the wrong spot. So that should be, you should do sample, space, then colon. So now this should run. Then we're going to change the rate to be 0 0.3. So we're going to just change the speed of that sound. Ooh. Very creepy. I think this is someone probably made this project during like Halloween. This is a really great uh, sound to be used during like Halloween time. Um, then let's see. We're going to now add another sample. The <laughs> Miscellaneous crow. So M I S C underscore crow. Okie dokie. Ah! Ooh, okay. Now let's play around with this. What we can do is I think it'd be sound better if we have a couple of crows so like we did in the last one. I'm going to add in a loop. So I'm going to do four times. And I'm adding this above the crow line. Oops, there we go. I like to have space between my code. It makes it easier for me to see it. So now, great, this is indented. You want to have that indented because that's under your loop. And then uh, let's think of how many we're going to add in sleep. And they think I'm just going to have one second in between each crow sound. And then end. So let's run this. Okay. 
nice. It's definitely sounding, this is sounding pretty neat. Now, what I'm looking at in the project, instead of having sleep for one beat, what we can do is we can use, um, we can get random numbers. So right here in line six, instead of just saying one second, what I can do is actually put in code that'll have the computer pick a number in a range. So that is gonna look like R, R, A, N, D. And then I'm gonna have it pick, have the computer pick a number between 0 0.5 and two. And so now it's gonna be a random number for sleep. Okay. Awesome. That's sounding really spooky. And the last piece here, what we can also do is we can actually make the, um, the, the sound, the sample sound play a different volume. So AMP, this is the amplitude of the sound. So we can modify that. So I'm going to try here. So right, the normal sound is one. So if I change it to be louder, oh, I'm scared. It might be a loud crow. Let's see. Okay. That's a little bit louder. And so that's neat because you can, oh God, lots of crap. Okay. <laughs> so that's neat because you can change um, how loud or how soft you want certain sounds to be, especially as you're adding in multiple sounds. I'm actually make this a little bit less here. Okay. This sounds better. Let's see. Okay. I like that softer. It sounds like the crows are far away. And this is like, this is stuff that people do all the time. It's if you're in a video game, right? If you're playing video games and you're hearing those sounds that make it feel realistic, there's someone whose job is to think about the sounds uh, in a video game. Same thing for someone in the movies. When uh, you see a character in the woods, when you see a character in a scary scene, someone's thinking about the music and the background sounds. So it's really neat that you can, we can be doing this right now in Sonic Pi with code, which is really cool. All right, I'm gonna do the um, next one, which is Haunted Bells. Let me go ahead and get a clear page. I'm gonna do the Haunted Bells sound. So let's, we're gonna start by adding, we're gonna put in sample again, as we've been doing. And we're gonna put in this sample, P-E-R-C underscore bell. Oop, what did I do? Uh, again, you know, I see I have to get, when, when you practice, I forgot the colon again. Okay, that's okay. All right. Sounds like you're at a store. Excited to see how we can make this sound spooky. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna change the rate of the bell. Okay. All right. And so it's playing it at a different speed, so it sounds sounds different. And then, actually, let's try it out. Let's see what happens if we make it negative. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that. It's very, there it is. Ooh, ooh, that was, that was, ooh, that was interesting. Okay, now let's bring in, we're gonna use the, random we're gonna have this we're gonna have the rate actually be random so what we can do is use that code that we used earlier r r a n d and then we're gonna have a pick a random number between negative 1.5 and 1.5 okay and then let's go ahead and loop this You notice here that I didn't put in a number, so this is this is actually a forever loop. So here we go. All right, and then we've got to make sure to complete, because if I try and run this, it's not gonna work. We need to have the rest of the code to complete that loop. So we're gonna do sleep. I'm gonna start with one and then end. Now remember, your indents are very, indentations here are really important. Um, okay. So now let's run this. Okay, this is gonna just keep running. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So that's a forever loop, so it's gonna keep running. Now, what you can do is right now we had one second in between each. We can also add in and have the computer choose a random number. So, all right, 0.1, oops. Ah, there we go. 
and then okay so now let's hear this again all right I guess these are our haunted bells ah, they sound haunted that's neat now again I encourage you play with the numbers here so you can play you can add in um, as well think about the amplitude which we talked about earlier you can also adjust these rates and play around and add in like other sounds. I know these were this the sound effects we were approaching today were kind of sort of the sort of those spooky spooky <laughs> um, the spooky um, computer games or movies or film. Um, but think about too like there are tons of other really neat sounds here that you can play with. So make sure to head over to rpf.io slash home and share your projects with us. We love to see what you all are coding. And you know what? You may be featured in our blog, or maybe we might invite you to join us on the live stream. As always, we love seeing what you code. I can't wait to see what you create this week. Bye. <laughs>